B.B. Miller is one of the defining choreographic voices of her generation. Someone who, you know, through collaboration and improvisation and scenic sculpture, you know, has helped to define what I would call pure movement or pure dance for literally an entire generation of dance makers and dance audiences. We brought BB out with the specific intent of finding her around the city of San Francisco and using her body in juxtaposition to the body and the structure of, of San Francisco. And of course, we bring her out and it pours rain. Uh, this place is very familiar. Yeah, ODC is up that way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And our tow is about three bucks that way. Yes, yeah. okay. And so our day together became way less about San Francisco and way more about each other. How we fit under an umbrella together. Um, how um, we fit inside of traffic together. Well, it's odd being here without anyone else. I mean, I haven't spent, I haven't been here often without a company member or something happening. You know, there's this weird thing of like being in a car with your hero and pretending that it's just all normal. I have, my, I have so many San Francisco image memories of being with a group of people at a particular time. An event has transpired. Uh, arriving at, at um, Arto, performing with Joanna Haygood, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. the first time. And so here's this person that has this gigantic personality inside my imagination and inside my personal trajectory as artist. And um, for a morning and an afternoon, it was so much less about how big that personality is or how big that space is in our imagination. And it became more about how um, small Then watching her teach, I, you know, I had to text my high school dance teacher and I was just like, yo, you will never believe where I am right now. First, I want to just talk about the weight thing because, um, and what do I, what I'm, I'm meaning in this, in this case and, and kind of looking for. So um, just even where you're standing with your partner, um, um, I, when I'm, when I'm talking about weight and weight at risk, I'm talking about even just that, from one foot to the other is at risk, it's a fall. This is a master teacher. Not anyone could come in and just say, okay, first walk through the room and then collide and then interrupt. You know, it could be a disaster. We're gonna do a series of actions about 30 times. I'll keep track. Um, and breathing through the nose, maybe a little bit through the mouth as well. It does take decades of just knowing how to sequence your words, the imagery to use, the energy to convey as a teacher to bring that instinctual uh, physical intelligence through your students. There's an approach to, to dancing together that is all okay. Um, and, I, and I find like I, I want to both, it's like I want to further the yes, as well as in, introduce, let's practice a no here, um, or not right now. There was something about the way Bibi taught them about having confidence in your own path, but also having confidence in your physical body, already having the intelligence to respond, even when it's an interference to somebody else's story. And they did beautiful explosive duets and group dances. You know, things that I hadn't seen in the class. So 
switch right in where you are. The things that we don't see, the invisible teaching that she's providing, I feel speaks to you know the 30, 40 years of her um, craft as both an, um, a dance explorer, a body explorer, a relationship explorer, um, as well as a choreographer. We have, we have this exercise that we do sometimes that I, I call the lion and lamb. And, and if you just kind of suspend the who gets, who's prey and who's predator for a second, and just allow both of these two different beings to be in proximity, and one doesn't have to become the other. And so we talk about that, like, can you put these two systems of behavior and personality next to each other without it just coming to the golden mean mm. between? When I was learning how to dance, when I was learning about modern dance, contemporary dance, 20 plus years ago, B.B. Miller was the person that my dance teacher was like, yo, that's who you got to check out. <laughs> 